If you've been watching my videos over the last few weeks, you would have noticed that we've been focusing on hitting a better forehand. I use the Biomech principles to be able to show you the different ways in which you can improve this forehand. And today, we finish off with a kinetic chain of events. Feel free to watch from the first video all the way through to this one to be able to see if you can pick up anything that you've needed in your forehand swing. So the chain of events, or the kinetic chain of events like some people like to call it, is basically the start to finish of your swing. This is the events that happen throughout the whole shot and it is important to make sure that you don't break down anywhere throughout the forehand swing. The important aspect to remember when trying to hit this kinetic chain of events is to be able to hit the forehand from start to finish in a smooth and rhythmic manner. The smoother the swing, the easier it is to go through every part of the forehand we've spoken about in my previous videos, from point A to point B as smooth as possible. So to keep my swing smooth, I wanna make sure that there are no breaks on. Once I've decided I'm going to hit the ball, I have to start swinging and not stop until I've actually swung through all the way. So there's two important aspects of keeping this swing smooth. The first thing is deciding when to start. A lot of the time we tend to wait too long and then we cannot have a full free flowing swing. The faster the game gets, obviously the earlier you'll have to start. The easiest suggestion I have is that you want to be able to split step when your opponent makes contact. The second way that you can actually manage to decide when to hit is to actually exhale when your opponent hits and when you hit. This way you'll maintain a lot of rhythm and you'll be able to choose the correct starting time for your swing. The second thing you need to remember when trying to keep the swing smooth is that you need to keep a full flowing swing. This sounds easy in essence, and when you've started it early, it will be quite easy. So what you wanna make sure of is that once I've started my swing, I do not stop. That is the important part. Do not stop in your swing. So once you've started, keep going until the racket has gone all the way through towards the shoulder. The moment I stop, I might end up being late. So in keeping the swing smooth, make sure you have used the correct starting point by split stepping or exhaling. Once you've done this, don't stop swinging. It is as simple as that. And when you can maintain this rhythm, you'll be able to follow the full chain of events and hit a better forehand. I hope you've enjoyed this series. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you would like to see next. 